Bones fly in, then they fly out Gun, chop, chop, chop it up, you know what we about Whoosh, chop, chop, chop it up, you know what we about Gun, chop, chop, chop it up Yeah, you logged into another episode of the Chat Shop Podcast You know what's going on Whole of vibes, jinky juice Don't talk nothing too loose With that being said I want to introduce my latest guest to the show The big old G Grinch Foundation out here. What's going on, big guy? Say my bro, Ski. Tell us, man. Tell us. Welcome to the show. I know you're busy and all of that. Yeah, good to have money in, in the building. You get me? Mm-hmm. So talk to the people, man. Let's get into it. Grinch from Slash. Slash is one of the hardest. SLA. 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 One of the hardest um, rap groups to come out of Brump. Ahead of his time. But it's a back a day, so... Step through that, step through them days lightly. Well, man's been a part of the music thing <laughs> since I was a little nipper, you get me? Like, my my bro probably had the first hip hop sound back in the day called Napalm X Detro with a couple of men you probably know, RX Ringo. Mm. There's no Ringo. Mm. And drastic R.I.P. Let me, let me drink some. No, me drink you know, some. before we even start, sorry, let me, let me drink pour some. you a let drink, drink already. So, um, so you know the, you know the rules. It. Let me take it, let me take it. No, you don't have to take a shot of this one, but I'm just going to give you You get me? Wet your throat a little bit, you get me? Trying to, yeah. get me? trying to get me drunk and crunked up in this bitch. Yeah, so proceed, proceed. Yeah, so... I said my brother had the first hip hop sound. That's where you love the music. Yeah, called. yeah. Like obviously, I used to follow them to beer dances when I was a youth, and then it kind of translated to them actually rapping. First, it was like Dex and playing tunes. Then had like a hip hop group called MSI and Asylum. So mm-hmm. this was like back in the day, probably early nineties. So it was really them and Morris Delta that was really popping then. Morris Delta Foundation, then man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so music when did you get first, into it? Yeah, f- I got into it probably when I was like 12, 13. Man wrote his first rap at school. With two other men from school, and we had a, like a little, we had our little group. We didn't have a name for it, but we just thought, yeah, man, the big man, them are spitting, so we we're doing our little group. But went to studio, I didn't even lace my track. Mm. You get me? But from then, man's been into this music, like following, following my bro and that with the camera, and just being a little cameraman from the start, from the first part. But then, back in the day, but. So no 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 sorry about that just just step it in it like fast forward now, that's where you love a music com. So how did you get to slash and what like? Was you rapping first by yourself, seriously, or was slash when you started taking it seriously? And how did you get into slash? Um, first obviously Zimbo. Zimbo was a was a, probably the only man that was rapping out of the man them. Yeah, he's the first rapper I ever heard. Yeah, of. so. Obviously, Zimbo was doing his thing first. He was like a solo artist. He had a couple of men managing him. Mm. You get me? So, obviously, after that, Dizzle come out of jail. Sip the drink. Dizzle. Yeah. You know what's going on? Free the capo. Mm. Every time. But, um, yeah, Zimbo come, no, Dizzle come out of jail. And Banner come out of jail. You have to sip again, bro. R.I.P. the big homie. R.I.P. Man. Banner. So I'm saying, every time a man mentions a dead homie or a man in jail, man have to take a sip of the drink. That one look a little light then, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> that little light, fam. Yo, I'm steady, bro. We got mm. a long time, you know, bro. That's what I'm trying to say to you, fam, but you know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> so, boom. You mentioned Dizzle, Banner. So Yeah, so obviously Banner and Dizzle come out of jail. And then Shabba... Shabba was already rapping with Dread and them. I forgot what they was called, man. So they was, yeah, Shabba and Killer. 
was rapping with with Dread Kinda, mm. and then obviously Dizzle just kind of like just got everyone together. He got Zimbo out of his little thing that he's doing, took him from being a, um, <laughs> a solo artist, and then he kind of with man. You get me? So so Dizzle's the man that made slash formulate. Yeah, so like Dizzle brought man to studio. Obviously, everyone was into music already, but Dizzle brought man to studio, and man. Recorded that first tune with Jigger on there. Yeah, yeah there's not no fraders. Okay, that's yeah, the first, that slash was the tune. first slash tune ever made. Like, and it was on there. Um, Killer, Shaba, Shot, Jigger, me, Dizzle, and Banner. Okay, so there's like nine, ten man. So that was our first tune. But obviously, because man was, some man was from one nine, some man was from Aston six. Man just kind of called it B six slash, so it was like a B six slash and L O Z. But okay. man just, just kind of like the. So that's how the slash came to. Yes, that's how the slash comes. So it was okay. like B six and L O Z man, and then we kind of like just cut it slash. You get so me? So that's what slash. Yes, that's how so, slash. Came. Yes, that's how that's how it came. That's how the postcode thing come along. Yeah. From man from B6, a man from B19, together. Yes. It's yes. called Slash. That's why we called it. We just called it, it Slashing It. So that's how the kind of like the, the postcode thing started. You get me? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It wasn't like a man just saying, yeah, man, postcodes and whatnot. But because it was B6 and Slash LOZ, it was just like man just made it the, the postcode thing. You get me? All right, then. So, what kind of impact you think Slash would have had today in today's market? Man would have been the biggest thing in the country, bro. <laughs> no gas, like. <coughs> and I was, bro, I was thinking about this the other day, you know, like when I heard um, JK, when I heard JK saying about how much man he had in the in, the, in their crew was it Invasion? Mm. How much man they had in their crew, but it's like. How much man had in Slash that could actually spit? It wasn't like you no know, made up things. Like man could really spit blood. Like you get me, Run them free, Zimbo, man. Mm. Vibes, Stardom, mm. Danny D, Dizzle, Shaba, Killer, Cracker, Me, Banner, fucking. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> and that's elite, bro. That's elite, bro. That's elite. But that, there's beer more. And then obviously, man had a, a, the, um, the Slash Money, Mackie, Psycho, and fucking j You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then man had... Yo, yo, yo. Um, Psycho's lock up, bro. Yeah, man. Drink something for Psycho. That's what I'm saying. Make sure it's proper. That's what I'm saying to you. That's what I'm saying. But you're going light, you know. Blood. Allow me, blood. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Blood, you know what, blood. Man don't really do this drinking, drinking thing, you know. I'm doing Light it for you, the blood. As well. I know and a man, a man start smoking 11 months, blood, but I'm doing don't this, you want, hear yeah, me? Yeah, man. I'm blazing this thing for you, blood. You get me? Come Makes on, sense, blood. family, man. That's what I'm saying. So, they were the elite members of and then we had, And then we had fucking Military Slash, Woody P. <laughs> fucking. We had a holy, you know what I'm saying? We had the, in the industry was... You got what I'm saying? So what what kind of fractions is this then? You got slash, you got slash money, and you got military slash. Yeah. What's the, what's the difference? The difference is obviously, you know how it goes with the, you have fucking Maybach and you'll have this man <laughs> and that man and this man on the label. That yeah. was it. We didn't have a label then, but the man that knew that they were under us, you get me? True. So slash today, where are we? Where are they? Like, where, where's everyone? Bruv. The story is fucking mad, blood. Like, I don't think you got enough time for this. <laughs> I don't think you got enough time for this show to do the whole breakdown, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just what's got like, just step through and like today, where are we? Like, it's just I, I see Grinch one up now, but Stardom's still there doing his music thing. Symbols doing his music thing. Obviously, Dizzle's in jail. Blood, you see, 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 see. A lot of shit, obviously a lot of shit's happened over the years. Mm. And some men have kind of, I wouldn't even say fell off. Some men are just kind of like doing the big man thing, the daddy thing. And 
whatever. And there's enough man still out now that he used to rap with, man. Mm. It's Viper, Cracker. Obviously, Mackie's fucking... Mackie's doing his own thing. Me. Obviously, Stardom kind of kept... He kept pushing his thing until... Is it, fair, is it fair to say Stardom's flying the slash flag by himself? You know what it is? I wouldn't say he's flying it by himself because if you're flying it, you're flying it. But <laughs> it's like... Every time you hear Stardom do an interview, you hear my, you hear him say how he start. Obviously, he had he was doing his thing from before, but when he kind of joined up with Man, that's when his thing kind of kicked off. <laughs> and I always, I always told him from, from when Man kind of stopped doing it. I always says him and Tempo was gonna blow out of the Man them around sides. I always said that out of everyone, and I didn't care who blew, because obviously Man's a team player. So me seeing my man do his thing now, I'm fucking happy, blood. Because he's always mentioning man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's always he's always keeping it 100, so you get me? So you, you're you still cool with everybody, though? Everybody's still, you still check for man? Yeah, yeah obvi- obviously man can't. Unless it's a bit, unless it's a problem, obviously man's man, innit? Obviously man would have, man would fall out and have their disagreements and, what not and certain man probably ain't strong no more where they're tight like that but I ain't really got no problems with no one I'm the big homie yeah you're the big homie like the big homie back in the day yeah Slash was n- like known for the, f- the, the game beef the game beef was wild crazy people didn't believe like I had a look at you man over here the other day he didn't believe that you man had beef with the game he had to google it okay <laughs> yeah that thing was big bro just like for me, that was a first, and that was like 2007. Yeah, it was like 2007, but that's the first time I seen something man done with like <coughs> a million views. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, that got a million views. It was in America under, um, on, some, on some news state, new, news report in America, so it was kinda, it's kind of big still. It was real beef at the time or what? <sighs> Real beef. I wonder, you know what it is? Man named the mixtape Life After Game. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, like, with Game, personally, like, Game was trying to be the peacemaker. Like, nobody really kind of knew. Everyone just thought, yeah, man, Game and Slash Ray. But Game was being the peacemaker because he was with a girl that was from Newtown, that was from Sides. And she obviously knew, man. So when all that shit was going on, she she must have said to Game, like, yo, them man, them are from my size, you know, they really get down and they really boom, bam, boom, you get me? So he's like, okay, fuck this, we need to kind of, you know what I'm saying, link with these man. Mm. So obviously when he's come out the lift now to give man the, the, the respect, because obviously when it was going on in the lift, the girls told him in the lift, you get me? So when he's come out, that's when all the fuck happened. Mm. Mike GLC's box in his hand. <laughs> Box in his hand, Mime's trying to put his hand out to Game. And, you know, Game's putting his hand out to Mike, and Mime's just boxing his hand like, yo, fuck that, and your man them are trying to disrespect me, rare, rare, rare. So that's where the kind of, and it was Game's people and his big security, you know, that big easy you see on the camera, big D. You don't want to hold a punch from my man, <laughs> lad. And the worst thing about it, like, there was only four of us. Me, this all. Yeah, there's only four of us and about 15 of them. Mm. And the way Mike was going on, like he's trying to pull it on them, and I'm Mike saying, GLC. yeah, he's trying to pull it on them. Not obviously with his words, he's putting it on them, like, yeah. yo, let's fuck these diggers up, let's fuck them up, let's go outside and fuck them up. But I'm thinking, yo, we'll have problems with these two security guards alone, <laughs> us four. You get me? So I'm thinking, yo, what's my man answer? When we gone outside now, that's when you see on the camera, like my man saying, yo, get the camera, get the camera. And obviously, Cracker's like, get the camera, blood. <laughs> Mum was talking about getting the camera. Then I said, nah, you're mad if your man's coming to England to rob man's camera. <laughs> so that's when man backed out, the, backed out the flicky and then bam, had to stand off with them and then man are just backing yeah, off. No, like, you said you said no. <laughs> you get me? So, and then obviously, them man had a little, trying to have a little scuffle for the tape. But they was kind of backing off at the same time and then they just jumped in the van and then fucked off. You had some. It was just good publicity at the time, but 
Obviously, them times there, man used to roll with the camera all the time, you get me? Mm. Just throw it in the X5, bam, any city, anywhere we go, man had the camera, so that's what man wanted. Man just wanted some footage, bro. Mm. Mm. I might, I might just wanted some, might, might, might want to be, Mike was like, yo, them man are coming from America and taking man's money, because you see, back then, Mike was a CD man, you get me? Mm. He was selling his own CDs, blood. he was on a every city thing, so when he seen these man come, he's like, He's having beef with these men that's with a big label, blood. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are we having beef? What the fuck are we beefing with, man? That are fucking signed, blood. And he's talking about the taking your money. What money are they taking? Like, to me, I was like, oh, what money are they taking? But obviously, I knew what he was kind of saying. But them times then, man didn't really have a leg to stand on because the, the scene was like how the scene is now to how it was then. It's not the same shit, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so how did you even link GLC? Mike GLC, yo. Mike GLC. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what it is? You see, Mike, yeah, back in the day, he used to go beer cities, isn't it, and sell his CDs yeah. back in the day. And one day, we must have been like, I think this was either we was giving out some of the CDs in town or... We had a dance coming up, so he was giving out some flyers or something. Mm. So they probably about twenty years, yeah, probably about twenty. It was probably about twenty deep. Walking through town, and we see my man selling CDs in it. But obviously, man kind of knew his face from Channel U. Mm. You know when he made that tune, the big tune that he had when he first come out. Letter to my yeah, one, big tune. Yeah, his big tune when he come out. So obviously, man recognized him, and man kind of just got the link from there. Seen him, and he kind of like just. The Sinai man was moving and he just kind of moved with man mm. in town, you get me? like, And from that day, we kind of like, boom, 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 the man exchanged numbers. And then from there, it was a wrap. And then obviously he called man to come down to, to fucking, to the dub plate drama. Big up Shiesty, my people. Big up Shiesty. Yeah, so obviously them times there, me and Dizzle was kind of on the run. From the cops? Yeah, it was on but the But you're run. still in dub plate drama? Yeah, man went down. Man, that's why man was in London, man. Man went down London. Obviously, we were staying at Mike's house. Okay. Man was a sofa, sofa, sofa surfing. Sofa surfing back then. And hotels. And obviously, this is before Dizzle got his big bird in it. Because obviously, that's why he was on the run. But yeah. But yeah, you did feature on um, the plate drama. Yeah, I had a little studio scene in there. Still. So one and scene. The, yeah, and a, one, and a one scene. But there's certain times I had, I could have got in there. I was just moving, yeah. you get me, so, man couldn't be too much, Dizzle was in there, sell, selling a strap, to one of the, one of the dudes in there, I can't remember who it was, Adam Deacon, I think he was selling okay. the strap to, okay. Okay. but obviously from there, that's how man, that's how man linked Dappy and Talisa, and you yeah, know, we're going to get to that after, we're going to get to that after, I want to talk about, um, the Slash and the Hardball video, like that video was ahead of its time, come like one movie, it's yeah, madness, money, man. money in there, hanged money up, on money the ceiling, and money, money hanged up in the mobster look. How much that video cost? What's the figure? Ten times there. That was two thousand and three or four. Two thousand and five. Two five. I think. Okay. Two five. I want to say five. Yeah, it's probably two four five. But for terms of making videos back then. I think we paid probably like all together. It was over five bags for that video. Yeah, yeah, over five bags. But in today's terms, that would be big peas, blood. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like in today's like making a video today. You get what I'm saying? It would be a big video, blood. And them times there, man, weren't spending that money on on videos. No one in the UK, I can remember. Well, there probably, there probably was people in the UK, probably in London, but anywhere else, probably ro- man from the roads. Man didn't have videos like that. Mm. Man was just had 50 man and on the corner and then bam. Like, man rented out halls. Man had, man had, man had big suits. You get what I'm saying? It was a, it was a big thing, bro. So, so from, from doing five grand I'm sure video. you was in the video as well. You went in the hardboard? I can't even remember, you know, fam. That's <laughs> 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 about a hundred man in that video. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Jesus. Tell me, man had the whole end. Man had the whole end on music, blood. That's all I know. Like, if he was from Erdington, Aston, Lazelle, Newtown, if he was from the ends, like, them times there, obviously, man were on the road, but it was a good, it was like, it was organised. You get me? Yeah. It was yeah, an yeah. organised thing. To me, it yeah, was back like... Back then, even back then, you brought, um, not you, but man, number brought stars for you to the ends. Back way back when, yeah, yeah. Even that—that's a big thing. I can't yeah, because we, yeah, we link Mime and that like, he's showing it. Like he got us, he got us into his show. Like mm. the security were letting us in, and Mime has just jumped out the car, sin man, and and got us in with him. Mm. That's how mad it was, blood. Swear down, swear down, blood. The time security weren't letting mm. us in. Mime has jumped out his car like yo, he's yo. outside or something. Nah, he just pulled up. I just pulled up. He just pulled up. So he's jumped out and sin man, and he's like yo, fuck that. They're with me. Come let them in. So we've all gone in there, bro. So we've all gone backstage as well, straight away. Like we've gone in there with him straight away backstage. And then obviously, he could just see man's aura. He could just take, you know, like someone can just feel the energy, bro. And it's like, man went backstage, but man were, man were ass licking, bro. Man was just doing their own thing. Mm. And you know, when beer people just on the artist, bro, like, yo, rare, rare, rare. Man was just, man was just kicked back, bro. Like, and at the end of the show, at the end, when everyone fucked off, he come back to man and says, yo, I know about you niggas, you know. <laughs> I know about you, man, because man showed him the thing with the game. He's like, yeah, man, I watched this when I was in America, you know. <laughs> Swear down, no gas. <laughs> no gas, blood. Man was like, I watched this when I was in America. And obviously, when man come, man knows there's real niggas everywhere. So you can't look and take, try to think you can... Cause you gone to England, there ain't no real niggas in England. So mum was breaking it down like a real nigger. Mm. And mum was like, "Yeah, man, I'm I'm going with Leicester. Um, just holler at me." So obviously, man had a number. So that's when man boom hit him off and says, "Yo, want want you to come and do a tune?" Oh, you got the tune. It's... And then my yeah, it starts peace. So when my man's told me and Debo went for him, mm. me and Deliger went for him. Boom, in the big thing, brought my man back with his bridge and just him and his bridge and no security, no nothing. Just brought my man back down to sides, brought him to the studio, and it's a rap, bro. The tune's out there now. Where though? Where, where can I find that? Um, what's that slash and featuring styles? Nah, yeah, slash featuring styles, but it's on um that album, man. That you that show me that seven years deep. The seven years deep is on Apple Music slash seven years deep. That's a big feature on there, blood. Big tune as well. Yeah, you get me. Though. So man linked up my man, and then I, I ain't spoke to him for I ain't spoke to him for a hot minute still. <laughs> so my man's just I don't know what my man's on. I don't think keep in contact. Yeah, huh? You don't keep in contact, man. Nah, I had his number. I had his number, and then I lost it. Nah, yeah, what? No, listen, 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 exactly. listen, 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 <laughs> listen. If you grew some little dreads in that. If you want to grease some dread like yours. Similar to mine. Yeah. <laughs> Similar to mine. Yeah? I'm telling you now, yeah. Because yeah, this let, check this. You don't tell me, I think you favour a little burner boy still, a little burner boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen to me. This is what I'm saying, yeah. Shit. Because I just remembered how you was on the Fizay's time. Now the Insta Live. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> you see for that there, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take the L in, <laughs> not knowing what exactly was going on. You get me? Obviously, you know it goes. Oh, wait a minute. You, you, what was? You don't even know what was going on, bro. I, I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. But this one I'm trying to say to you. Then. This one I'm trying to say to you. Like you see that? You see that week there. She was on Insta Live for a few days because I think she was in America or something. So the times we was getting up, she was kind of like just about to go sleep or just fucking around on Instagram, like like fucking letting people obviously speak to her on Instagram mm. live. Mm. So you see that night before I was forced to put out the this is this is this is my this is my story, yeah. So no one don't come back to me and say, yo, what happened? This is the story, the breakdown. The night before, I was forced to put out my fucking black bags, yeah? Cause in the morning, yeah? In the night. Listen, man. Listen. No, sorry. No, 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 listen. I am not. No, listen. <laughs> listen. No, you fucking laughing. No, sorry. I'm listening, man. Wait there, man. Wait there. <laughs> no, wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there. Okay. 
The it night don't before. make that weed get to you, though. No, 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 I was supposed to put them out. Yes. A man got high and fell asleep. You know when you wake up in the morning, you're like, yo, I need to rush out to go put them out. So yeah. I've jumped up, yeah, yeah, to go put out the black bins. Obviously, uh, you know you check your check your fucking you check your phone. I checked Instagram in the morning. I seen she was on live, and like I weren't gonna, I didn't want to go on live, but I just pressed it yeah, just to mess it's about. Fast. Yeah, and obviously she had she had like I think over five thousand people or something Mm-mm. on there. So I'm not thinking, mm. yo. I pressed the button and she's going to come. But obviously, she's pre- I pressed the button and I can see that she's accepted it. Mm. But I'm saying, like, run and go put out the bags or answer it. Like, really, I should have run and put out the bags and just left her hanging because what she was representing on there, I weren't about that anyway. Tried to get her to fucking go for a meal. You know the fuck? Like, it, that, that's it, what it, it was. That's what, that's that's what, what it was. was. Like, uh, it, it, it speak to her so she could you could go out on a date with her. But obviously, I didn't know it was all. I didn't know it was about all of that. So obviously, when I pressed the button, I just yeah. come on. Like obviously, I'm fucking. In, I'm in my house with my gal blood. I ain't gonna be fucking chatting, <laughs> chatting up no fucking gal or no fucking Insta life. You get what I'm saying? And then say what? Oh, it's stiff London, man. Who gives a fuck, blood? So obviously, that's what happened. So when I pressed the button, it's funny, blood, and I take it out. That's the only reason why I'm taking it out because because I've answered it. I did not know what the fucking whole play was. The play was you you speak to her and then you go on a date with her. So mm. obviously, when that's happened now, she's talking and Ray, in my head, I want to go put out the bags. So you can see that I'm not even speaking to her. She's like, yo, and I'm just giving her some one, two. There's mm. one, two. So obviously, I want to go put out the bags. But when she started talking some shit about rapping, like, he's fucking waking up. The fucking know, rap to he's waking up to fucking rap. And then everyone and then everyone's saying, dude, bro, you know niggas don't get down like that, bro. So loud the loudest shit talk, bro. But I could give her a sixteen to what for her to say, Yeah, I like you, man, you sound nice. Yeah, what? Not on blood. Fuck that. Yeah. So when I said I did when I said I didn't rap and she put the phone down to me, I took the L because I I went I went on there not knowing anyway. It's not, it's not, oh, it's just a little banter. No, it's I'm not about banter. the owl to say she, 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 she put down the phone on me because a oh. lot of people are saying, yo, she took the piece, she put down the phone, but, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Ain't nothing. Minor thing, man, no, it's just a little giggle and that, it's just a giggle. Nah, of course, nah, of course. <laughs> because I know beer, man, a thousand, two thousand people probably seen me on there and thought, yo, Grinch, what's my mm. man doing on there? I reckon you could have got a date though, bro. Serious. But this is what I'm trying to say to you. You know for a fact, if it's that and it's just no gal thing, it's different. We only fucking be in my fucking house chatting up gal on my phone while my gal's in her bed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come uh, on. Shit. Oh, uh, so, yeah. yeah that, that was a little. Yeah, man, that's a giggle. That's a giggle. That's a giggle. <laughs> Have a oh, sip for that. Oh, you, know you know what? 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 You fucking got me high with this Cali blood. Yeah, man. 11 months, you know, man, ain't been smoking, blood. You come and hit me with this shit, blood. Drink up for that, man. <laughs> Drink up for that. <laughs> Trust me. So, before now, yeah, when you was at Double Plate Drama, you said you linked Dappy and Talisa and them. Yeah. But you still got that link. To the, well, Dappy anyway. You still linked to Dappy today? How did you? How did you really? Not really linking, but from the plate drama. How from did that plate drama? Um, like obviously, when it was the plate <coughs> drama, we met him on the day, and then he had a show that night in Peterborough. So mm. obviously, he told Mike. They told Mike to come with them, but obviously, because Mike's with Man, and we're driving. Like, obviously, man's like, yo, come, you like, come to the show as well. So man went from the dub plate drama set mm. and went to a show in Peterborough. But, like, obviously, man knew who there was back in the day from, from the tune that they had on, had on Blood Clark. Channel U. Channel U. Mm. But when we, went to, when we went to Peterborough, that was the first time I've ever seen, like, fan love, like, proper, like... Made man feel like man was stars when man was mm. walking through there, everyone screaming and rare, rare, rare. So obviously, man kept a link from there. And then we done a next show 
they're doing the next show. They're doing the next show in London somewhere. But because me and Diesel was down there anyway, Kamam was on the run. What kind, told, of, what kind of run? You're going on a run and you're going shows in there. <laughs> 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 so what's going on? But them day, man, we're like, man, we're on whatever, blood. Obviously, man was on a run, but man was out and, uh, about, out about. and about. But, like, he done another show in London and we made man come down and obviously, boom, the link just kind of grew. But after that, probably two weeks after that or three weeks after that, man got lock up. I got lock up. And then... While I was locked up, Diesel and that got Daffy and them to come down to Peterborough. Mm. Come man put up the man put up, put on the slash dance mm. when I was locked up, and Daffy went down there and performed at man's show. You get me? So after that link there, like man was proper link. But when man come out, when I come out of jail, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't holler at them. There was these times. There was. I'm one extra, like, popping now. Mm. Like, when I come out of jail, I was popping now, like... Mm. And out like, of reach, you, you might have felt those out of reach. I felt like that. Mm. But it's like, I didn't holler at them. I could look up their number and say, yo, remember me when we was... Because real talk, man was with them mm. for a hot minute, like, two weeks. But they was coming to Mike GLC's house and it mm. was all in there smoking weed and you get me so... Obviously, Mike GLC don't really get on with them, innit? Yeah, they one minute. <laughs> <laughs> so man kind of kept the link man kept the link here and obviously them them like are the popping now mm. like they got their big album and they're doing beer shows like NEC and whatever so their show that they had in Brom like I've gone there like my my, my youth was a fan like my youth was a fan back then so he's like yo dad you don't know them. You don't wear it. You know, like, you know, like, you used to, like, try to try to go, like, you don't know people. Like, yo, you don't know them. Rare, rare, rare. So, like, I brought my youth there, paid for a ticket, brought my youth there. But when we've got in there now, like, I've seen some of their brethren that man knew from before. So, they've seen man in there. They're like, yo, Grinch, rare, what are you saying? Rare, rare, rare. Yo, we're going to tell them that you're here. I'm like... <laughs> They ain't gonna give like you know when you think people have just just got fame's got to their head and they don't they don't remember man so from then it's like we're gonna tell them so when the shows come on that is raw big me up in front of nineteen thousand people like my brother Grinch man, 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 yeah, man. in front so, of the in front of your little man in front man. of my little man make so him know make him know Jack like bounce. gas like get get me. away like and then yeah, two twos at the end of the show like the brought man and brought us backstage you get me and just. The love was different. Mm. You got what I'm saying? That night. With Daffy, yeah. The lo- from that night there, I knew that Daffy was a real a real brother. Like, obviously, Faiza, cool. Me and him was cool and, and Talisa, but me and Daffy kind of clicked mm. straight away. You get me? So when they done that and they brought me backstage and put all the chains on my ute and that, taking pictures and that, it's like, yeah, man, these, these, these motherfuckers have kept it 100. Mm. And then obviously after that, my man's hollered at man and says, yo, come to the studio house and come check me. And then mm. obviously he had a link and I brought your bro down there. Yeah, Them times made my man get a little break. You get me? So, so you're doing your management thing, and not it? Yeah, doing management thing. But big up little trapper though. True, you big up me? bro, big up bro. Each, sip up for that, man. Sip up for bro, man. You know what's going on. Mm. I brought my man down there and obviously when I was with Daffy, like... Bro was showing them fucking him temper scorps and that, and mine was like, "Yo, that's when I knew man had it." That for me, that's when I knew man right. had it because Dappy, Dappy yeah. was like, "Yo, them man are sick." Mm. How them man would do? They had a they had a little cipher thing, mm. um, temper mm. scorp. You know the, you know the behind the shots, the, 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 the mad thing, the mad thing. So when they seen that, it's like, "Yo." Man can't do this in London. Yo, these <laughs> men are sick. Rare, rare, rare. That's when I knew man had it. But them times there, I weren't even on music again. Mm. Like, I was down there, like, every night Dappy used to say, yo, come, Grinch, let's do a tune together. Rare, 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 this and that. And I just weren't on it. I just mm. weren't on it. Them times there, the music was kind of, man went through so much shit with the music, but Dappy kind of, like, brought, he, like, he kind of, like, brought me back, like, but I was kind of like in the studio just helping and you get me? And then I had a little, I was doing that little, per, that chef thing, that personal chef thing 
My mum was making peas for just sitting down. But you're a chef for Dappy as well? Mm-hmm. You can chef it all? Come on, blood. Your blood's I know me about that one. Food. But man is blood for that one. You're a big chef as well? Blood, come and you're on, gassing. blood. You can't chef it all. Blood, man's multi-talented, blood. You can chef it all. What listen, can you listen, call? listen, listen, listen. Blood, listen. What, what's, what's your solution? I ain't, like, I ain't lying to you. Listen to me. Listen to this. <laughs> listen to this, blood. Man was down there for about six, seven months. Where? Down no, fucking um, Guildford, yeah. London. Yeah. And I was a chef, personal chef, bro. I was getting paid one sixty a day. From Dappy? Come on. What do you mean, I'm bro? asking the people yes, don't know. What do you mean, bro? I was a personal chef, bro. Out this I'm now. getting one sixty a day, bro. One sixty a day, Dappy was letting off a sh- You must be a serious chef in there, isn't it? Come on, bro. Right, and that's big business. Come on, bro. All right, then. I was picking up big peas, blood. You get me just sitting down there cooking for myself as well and just chilling, blood. So you like to cook anyway, but yeah. Dappy just said, yo, come. Yeah, because obviously we had food. They, they had He had his little catering thing there. This is how it come along. He had his catering thing there mm. and it was just leaving, man, dog food, mm. you know, to eat, brother. And we was just wasting it and they're charging, man, 180 a day mm. and they're coming and leaving food there for, man. And the man's the food's just like dog food. So mm. every day we're just throwing away food. And then one Friday, we must have went to fucking... We also went to um, Sainsbury's. A man brought some chicken. And we said, fuck this. One day we're just going to cook. And then man went and turned up the chicken and turned up certain things. And man's like, yo, Grinch, fuck this. You might as well take the money. You got yeah. these man coming and keep... And we're not even eating the food. Mm. You might as well do this and get paid rare tear tear. So obviously, Bam. So that's on your CV. Come on, bro. That's, right, that's standard. Then. I thought, man, you... I thought, Yo. I, man know I, this, listen, isn't it? Listen, man listen, know listen. What, man know what to time it is, bro. I may have known this, but the people them don't know this, okay, so okay. you know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so we need get, detail mama, like yeah, that. You gave us mama's detail. Getting paid, but mama's getting mm. paid, bro. Mama's buying cars off food. Yeah, he was buying cars off Dappy's food. Yeah. I mean, selling food. Yeah, selling food, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, man. So, what's your signature no dish? Cap. Before we sign out of that one, what's your signature dish? I got a lot, blood. So, you know, I got a couple. No gas. You're kidding. Not gassing, today, blood. Man. But the food thing's embedded in, man. You got to be able to cook, blood. You can't have youths and can't cook, blood. That's that's one rule. You can't be giving your youths coming to stay with you and you're giving them takeaway every minute. You can't do <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 are you not being gonna do it that way, no, blood. Talking to you, talk to you. Yeah, man, are giving their takeaway. I'm wondering why their bones ain't strong. <laughs> Ah, shit. Okay, yeah, so that that was that that that's what happened and obviously man got on the charge. Oh yeah, you was on the charge you dappy and that, innit? Yeah, he was on the charge. Yo Sorry, but I had to add that to my list now, you know. Run through that one as well. So, oh, no, no. We're running jokers as well. Right, right, this, this, this is the breakdown so you know, of the charge. You're chefing, yeah. and then you got the charge. Yeah. And then, now you're going to tell us what's going on now. Yeah, so, obviously, we was doing it. We was down there making the making the tunes, yeah? Mm. He, he had, a, he had a, like, a, a studio house where mum was staying. Man had a little cottage for myself. Three bedroom cottage thing. Trust me, it's cushy blood. I ain't gonna lie to you, blood. That's so you're chefing in the cottage. He, nah, I was chefing in the in the big house. Oh, but man, but the you cottage, had your cottage, I had my own cottage, three bed, yeah, man. three bedroom cottage. Sweet. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So two twos now. Obviously, my man had a tune, and I think it came number two in the charts. Mm. One of his, one of his, um, one of his singles. Mm. So man's like, fuck this, yo, we're going to the club. Party. We're in Guildford, you know, we're going to celebrate, so we're going to have free bar. You know, mm. we're just bars that you just drink it, drink it, drink it. I don't it. know them bars, but... So man's at the bar, but you see them times there? Obviously. I wasn't I wasn't security, but you know how man step? I I was kind of like, have to be the one that's like, not drinking enough, yeah. just, just kind of like, just got the level head. Because mm. all these are just running off to the bar to drink, 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 drink. So I'm just trying to be the cool one. Because I know if anything pops off, I have to be ready. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. we've done that now. So, we're leaving. And we're leaving from the um, from the place. Now, everyone's lean up. 
So we've gone to the we've gone to the petrol station, and I've told man, don't jump out the car. That was my last words when I jumped out the car to go and get shit from the cigarette and whatever from the petrol station. Mm. I'm telling man, dapping that, like, don't get out the mm. car. Mm. You got the petrol station. Yeah, in the petrol station, I'm telling man, yeah. don't get out the car. So two twos now. I've come by the door. You know when this. The, the doors open, mm. the slide open, and all I heard was doom doom. I look behind me, the man are coming out of the car. <laughs> so I'm thinking, yo, I told the man, don't come out of the car, I'm just going to get cigarettes. I'm going to be back, blood, two twos. I've gone to the, I put my drink on the counter, go, put my drink on the counter, I'm thinking, yo, all right, then come hurry up and get out there because them man have jumped out now. So when I when when the geezer ticking along at the counter, I've, I've walked back to the door to look outside to see what's going on. So when I've looked, out the door, shit's kicking off like to say you peeked your head out the door. Man's getting in a headlock, f- is, throwing is, punches. Is, is, is man like, fighting? Oh, there was like three rugby players. There's like there was two girls and three rug three rugby players, and there was there's only two man. Mm. So them them two man got jumped on straight away. You got what I'm saying? Dappy and my man was having a fight is with, it? The, with the, nah nah nah. Oh, one, Dappy one, and next man. Yeah, was having a fight with the with the um with the rugby players, and obviously man's jumped in and. Boom, bam, boom, whatever, whatever, whatever. And you jumped I, in as well? Yeah, obviously to stuff it. Okay, true, true, You know true, what we true. do? We stuff, yeah, we stuff, 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 stuff break it, yeah. break up, break Whatever. Up. <laughs> break up, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so, yeah, so obviously we dealt with the situation. Mm. Obviously we dealt with the situation accordingly. accordingly. Yeah. And then yeah. we let the we let the guys go after the, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's like, from then, it's on camera, innit? And then obviously man's blew back to the studio like, yo, we're fucked now. We're fucked, rare, rare, rare. It's going to be in the papers because, you know, mine was a, mine was a fucking... But them times there, mine was probably the biggest artist in the urban thing mm. in England, them times there. And you just got a charge of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, we've like, so we're like, we've gone now. I've come back to Brom. Two twos, got phone call a couple of days later. Yo! <laughs> Please come to the house. Please come to the studio to, to question about fight. And then obviously the police come to my house in Brome looking for man. It's a long thing, bro. So obviously man was on that charge and then my man kind of like got, because he got found guilty. No, he, did, he, did he get found guilty? No. I think, I think he did, man. You man got found guilty, then. Yeah, I didn't. I was oh, you did And someone else never got... Sit, take a sip for the not guilty. Yeah, man. you know what? Real talk. Because you know what? You're stressed a bit. Nah, it wasn't even a stress thing. It's like, you know when you know, I weren't in the club, I weren't drinking, I weren't fucking, so I know exactly what was going on. That's why I was pissed. You know what I'm saying? These men are doing some drunken antics, mm. but getting men on charge, can go jail for like 16 months. For what? For some stupid fight with some, <coughs> with some idiots over nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, to me, it was like, yo, it's a good thing I didn't get fucking. Mm. Because it would have been some shit. It would have been some shit. And then after all of that charge, been obviously the chefing thing done. And yeah, after that, obviously, my man kind of fingered in it. My man weren't allowed on radio and mm. the kind of boycotted him for like four or five years in it after mm. that. Mm. True. <laughs> Even Joe Blow, innit? You linked up with Joe Blow. Yeah. Blow's one of the homies still. One of the homies. You still link him? How's yeah, that? Yeah, like, back in the day, my man come, I think it was 011 or 12, he come to Brum. I think Tall Man, Tall Man brought him down. Big up Tall Man Big still. Tall Big man, up yeah. Tall Man, my dear. I ain't seen my man for years, but yeah, Tall Man brought him down. Obviously brought him down to the ends then with Big Peps. And man just, man just kind of like just kicked it. Like man was just going everywhere. He was on the block with man, mm. smoking by dreads, mm. smoking beer splits and that. And then we took him crown and cushion. <laughs> you get me? We, like, we just kept, we just kept it hood. Mm. But obviously them times there, my man were, my man were big, like how he is now. You get me? But when he left, man kind of kept in contact through messaging and that. Not really phoning him. Insta and that. Yeah. But, and he said like, next time he comes down, he's got a link man. And I think the next time he come, he come one time, he stayed for a couple of days, then when he come back the next time, he hollered at me, and that's when I went Manny and linked Tondi and that. Okay. The first time, the first day I met Tondi was with Joe Blow. Okay, Joe Blow was, was with you? It was with Tondi oh, was in with Manchester, Tundi. and I went up Manchester and linked my man. But you already knew the link anyway? 
Nah, I didn't. Oh, didn't. He just said that he was going to Manchester to link some man. So when I went up there, there's like, bro, there's about 20 men with my man. So I'm thinking, yo, who the fuck are all these niggas? But when we went over there now, Tunde and couple man like, yo, Grinch. Man, come up to you. Big up Tunde. But yeah, man, was like, yo. Now, smart, smoke the spiff and drink for that one because <laughs> he's got the shop and that in it. So, yeah. Yeah, so... Obviously, when I met Tundi, my man already listened to man and mm. he already knew the slash thing. Like, yo, man, grew up to your shit. Like, mm. Paid the ultimate respect, blood. Like, obviously, man had man in every kind of city that knew about man, slash. And slash whatever. was gangster rap back then, innit? Like, slash was the real street shit. Mm. You know, like how you would look on the roads now and say, yo, this man's very, very. Like, we were the real shit, like the real street shit. Would you compare yeah, anyone to slash today? In today's music, now you know why I couldn't say that because I can't see enough. All right, then I see is probably different, but we had like 10 men, so mm. I can't pull like so, there, there, there's not there's not no one now that I can look and say the whole 10 men of them are hard and the whole and the rapping. And mm. like, who can you say now? There's only this couple like. You'll have four men in each label. You'll have four men. Mm, mm. Man had like 10, 15 men and everyone could spit. So mm. I can't really say like any man. But there's there's man, that, there's man out there that I feel and mm. I look and say, yo, trust me, this is man's thing. Like you can tell that man's really from this. You get me? So you see, you got any music with Joe Blow? Yeah, that, that tune that I don't Yeah, with. I know. Sorry, sir. I know you got music with Joe Blow. That video. Yeah, I got, yeah, got. In G- we in done a video. Yeah, we done a video on Jamaica. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how you move in. For his um, what was it called again? With the yard man. Back um, gap the brick. Oh, something. Now his album. Oh. Well, he had an album that come out in it, and there's about ten man from England on there. Mm-hmm. I remember be a, that. Be one. a different artist. So, but I was the only artist that he done a video with, mm. and we went Jamaica and done it. True. Sick. Now nah, Joe, Joe blows, blows one of the bros, man. Like, Joe's one of the bros. Yeah, it's like it's like, <laughs> like man will feel like, yo, you doing a tune with Joe Blow, but trust me, my man's like my brother. Like it's not, and it's like me and you doing a tune. You I'm get what I'm saying? You want fucking? <laughs> <laughs> you get me a mad? You know, I, you know, I long know big chopper. You know how long I know. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like you know about your like, your pots, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Trust me, man. You survived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, um, no, but you know what? No, no, listen, listen, listen. Yeah, and I got five tunes. I got five more tunes with mine. No, six. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. I you got, got five more tunes in the locker with Joe. Yeah, and RM. You got tunes with Joe Blow and RM and and AJ. Okay, couple. So when you gonna throw them out there? Gonna throw them out soon, man. It's just you know, right now it's just taking care of different work. Mm, mm. You hear me? Yeah, what? No, this one's a touchy one, store, but because I remember some bars here that you spit. I swear, I can't even remember, but I know it was like red and blue. Like the man in the interview. I can't remember if it goes like that, but I'm paraphrasing. You must know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. That, that, one of my latest tracks that I've done. So I don't think it's one of the latest ones. No. Oh, yeah, actually, because you, you're not as frequent as you want to be. It is one of the latest ones. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. sorry. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, that was, that was like a, that was just a little reference of, Watching an interview mm. that Miss done, yeah. and he was just touching on that still. It was just, it was just a little one through one two bars. But true that, true. but it's not, it's, it's it's not it's not nothing big, is it? Nah, because obviously, everyone obviously seen the interview that that Miss done back in the day. Mm. Um, let me say back in the day, a couple of years ago, mm. and obviously he was referring to certain things. Mm. I didn't I didn't see it as a big thing. Mm. You get what I'm saying? But obviously, man. Copper man from jail phoned me and says, "Yo, you saw the interview, and rare, 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 like, like to address it, because mm. you know some, some man see things different than others. Like to me, it was like, oh, you done an interview, rare, rare, rare. Well, obviously, 
I just addressed. I just addressed it. So I, I didn't. I didn't know him at the time. Mm. I've just seen his music and that. So obviously, I messaged, messaged him. He sent me his number, and we just kind of, we just kind of had a little rap. And I was just talking to him about the thing with Stardom because then was supposed to do a tune, and two times he didn't turn up to the to the um, mm-hmm. to the studio. But obviously, whatever, 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 they sorted it out. But yeah. I was just kind of like referring yeah, to in the miss. They sorted it out. Yeah, him and Miss. But they ain't got no tune yet, have they? Nah, but oh, oh, they're see, see. working it out. But I'm saying, like, that was the reason why I had the phone call. Because man phoned me from jail, said, mm. address it because boom, bam, boom, mm, he hit me. Mm, so mm, mm. when I phoned him, like, me and him's just kind of, like, rapping. And he just said, you know what? He's just trying to put on for the city. He's just trying to make the P for them know about man around the end. So to me, <laughs> I didn't see nothing of it anyway. So yeah. obviously I, I addressed the stardom thing and my man says, yo, it's not that obviously he was supposed to come and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot and what happened. And obviously it's always man to man. If a man says something to me, you gotta you have to believe what he's saying mm. in it. So mm. obviously when we come off the phone, it was just like it was cool. I had a video and I thought I wanted him to be in it and he said, Yeah, we'll be in it. Mm. But I just didn't end up putting the putting the video out. Yeah, but you done the video? Nah, nah, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Okay. Okay. But yeah, big up, big up, miss though. Big up, miss man. You get smoke, me? Smoke the weed for that, cause them man are weed. And, and enough man, enough man will probably say miss ain't the hardest artist in Brum, but he's the biggest businessman in this thing. Big you get what I'm saying? Than that. Big up, miss. Like so a lot of people, good. a lot of people won't put him in their top three. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get to the top five look later, bro. Don't don't be don't be jumping ahead of the ahead okay. of the team. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fucking show, bro. It's your <laughs> show. We're not there. Yet, it's your show, bro. We're not there yet, bro. We're not there yet. Got, there yet. Got we, got your, got, we got we got to touch on um, yeah. You got, your you got your schedule. You got your schedule. We're gonna say. touch on the Birmingham scene now. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know what we're doing. Hall of vibes. Drinky juice, bro. Bro, you, listen, juice. it's only because it's my birthday week, you know, while so I'm, I'm drinking saying, and bro, smoking. Me ain't well, you got me smoke. I hear that still, but man ain't smoking been smoking for how long? I know, get that, bro, but man don't even smoke Cali no more, it's dead. No, when, when you're rocking with me. All right, yeah. let me smoke. So, so, listen, listen. The Birmingham scene, currently, yeah. True say the, the t- right now the Birmingham scene's running on them, them two disc tunes from Stardom and Mitch. As a bigger, as a older, as a older, <laughs> give me your opinion. Just briefly, you get me. First of all, first of all, <laughs> man, don't do diss tracks, bro. Mm. Like that to me. Like I've uh, like obviously, I told Mitch as well, and I've told Stars like man, don't do diss tracks. But like to keep it one hundred, mm. to keep it one hundred, it's like. Obviously, man's been seeing couple tunes that Mitch has been doing mm. and dissing man like one couple bars or whatever. And I'm looking and saying, yo, you got what I'm saying? You know, when you don't understand where the energy is coming from. Mm. So obviously, they've done, the, done that track, he's done the next track. And I think he's done the next one. But listening to them, it's like, he's probably, he could be dissing anyone. You know, mm. artists, yeah, that's artists. some artists write like, like they're dissing someone. That's how but they could write. Be for anyone. Yes. Yeah. yeah so yeah. obviously he's doing what he's doing, and obviously through this, Stardom ain't put out no tunes or nothing. Mm. When everyone's been screaming, "Yo, you need to put out a tune," you need to put. And this is the one thing that I respect, though. Mm. This is the one thing that I respect that. Obviously, man, know that he should have put that put the tune out time ago because he, he wrote that tune time ago. But mm. obviously. And I only can believe him because he's saying that someone's leaked it, and obviously he's got no, he it, yeah. he's got no, he's got no reason to lie. Mm. You got what I'm saying? Because as he says, if he's got to do a diss track, he could have fucking made a big video mm. and made it into something mm. like what man would do. So obviously, it just it looks like it, like knowing a man's character. Mm. But I told man already, man don't do the diss tracks because really, I, for for man, I know that it's not just music. You got what I'm he saying? Told them allow it, stop all of that. Yeah, and it should be done now because yeah, he's done his. his Mrs. Get um, uh, Mitch is giving him boom bam boom, and Stardom's come out with that one. Mm. You got what I'm saying? And even though my man's come out with that one after, I just feel like just just it's a wrap. You get mm-hmm. me? Man, need to just allow it. Because mm. really, as I said to man, this this would do this would do good for both of their for both of their. How would I say? 
you know, for their career now. Mm. Even though I get, obviously, stars have been doing this music thing for time, and this is the only time he's really getting a breakthrough, mm. and he don't need to fuck up his shit doing mm. all this. Dick. A man don't do diss tracks anyway, and Mitch obviously he's, he's come up on the man. Too, he's come. Up, I hear that he's come up on the man, and he knows that man don't get down like that. Mm. Man don't do the diss tracks of man on tracks and all that shit. So he done that one thing. He got leaked, and it's done. Mm. Like I told my man, yo. Allow it, don't do it. He ain't gonna put out no more tunes. You don't need to. Mm. So to me, it's like both of them, their careers are going good. Just stick to the music. Mm. You got what I'm saying? Because all this other shit don't mean shit. You got what I'm saying? Like, this social media has got everyone on a hype. Like, it's true. It's true. everyone's hyping. Like, this social media team got people under big, big, big peer pressure to look bad or <laughs> you have to look like this or you have to put someone on your snap. Mm. If you're confronted and you put them on your snap and show like you know he's saying you got beef with my people. Like you don't we don't do all that shit, all that insta and snap shit. You get what I'm saying? So man just need to done it. True. So do you think of the apart from that, what do you think of the Brum scene currently? Give me a list of your top five. But your um, drink's still raw. But allow me, man. Allow me, allow me. It's your birthday drink, weekend. It's your birthday yeah, it's weekend. my birthday weekend still. But do you see this here? Yeah, this. this. <laughs> <laughs> you get me, man. Stop smoking 11 months, brother. You give me candy to smoke. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm doing this for you. You get me? I ain't trying to come in no conserved fucking straight head. So Trust I'm, me, because that's where the vibes is at. Yeah. Yeah. And I always know that. You see, smoking weed, even though I stop smoking. This is where you get the proper meditation. Mental and meds. It's proper. That way I said, dog. Uh, but I'm a ganja baby still, so. That's what I'm saying. So it's, only been a, it's only been a year. Give us the top five, my brother. Top five. Um, Fucking hell. Man that ain't. It's name five, bro, because it come like everybody in it. This question is It's not, it's not, it's not. I'm just, calcul- I'm, just cal- hard, I'm just calculating bro. it in my head. Hip hop, hip hop, alright then, safe. Bro, um, just five fucking uh, okay, music safe. musicians in it. Okay. Rum, rum. That that's that that I do that I do it now. Tallers. Tallers is hard. <laughs> All tight tallers. Yeah, tallers is hard. Mm. Reeks. Reeks. Stardom said Reeks is lazy though, so I know, but I, I just like you know what it is. I, you know <laughs> you see with me, I like men that can put their thing together. You get what I'm yes, saying? And, can and take their time. Yes. And take their time with it. So, mm. yeah, Reeks. Yeah. Um, smokes. Smokes. Big up Smokes. Zeeks. Zeeks. Big up Zeeks. Um, Fox. Mm. And fucking... Um, and Fox. P-Man. I like P-Man as well. Are you from Brum? Of course. Yeah. Old type P man. Okay. And um the Asian brother man, that's always with caps in you know, yeah. The Asian and, brother and that's always with caps or yeah, caps the, himself. <laughs> nah, both of them, both of them. I don't know who's the next one? Flame. P P man. Oh P man's with caps. Yeah. Alright, safe, 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 safe. There's couple there's 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 there's, there's a few. Mm. Big yoga as well. Big yoga, the man originals from London. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Mm. So, hey, what done before? And that's we, more than five. That's I can more keep than going five. On, you yeah, know. yeah, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Man said there's a lot of artists about. But now nah, that's and like, as well. Sovereign, old type sovereign's got that West Coast flavor. Yes, going blood, on. and it's it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sovereign, sovereign. You get me? Yeah, we're gonna get him on here, blood. You get me? So I'm saying to you, before we sign out, though. Yeah. Why do you, you just named several artists? Yeah. The man ain't got no tunes together. And then you you know they're good. You just name them. Well, Caps and P Man's got a tune together. Yeah, obviously, does the B together? Yeah, I hear that. I'm stuff. saying basically, and I'm asking you, what's the you know what the culture's like because you man kind of created it. Yeah, if man are doing a tune with next man, yo, my man has to get punched up. You know. Yes, and, and that's why that's why I says like, <sighs> and this one it's, it's touchy, bro. Like for back in the day, I don't for now. I don't. I'm not really in the mix of it. Mm. But back in the day, it was kind of like that. Like, 
this man wouldn't do a tune with you because he has to go to a dance with this man and he's probably going to get seen next week. <laughs> 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 and this is how it was for man, like radio station didn't want to play man. You know what it is? It's just a... <sighs> you, see the, you see the music team? See if you ain't got your own mind, like really got your own mind and move off your own instincts. You, we're always going to see that. It's just mm. like what JK said, like, mm. yo, it's never going to change. Because you see in certain people's hearts, their hearts ain't moving, blood. Mm. You got what I'm saying? See, to me, it's like, if you, even back in the day, like, man would say this and that, like, I was on a tune with a man from Hansworth. Was that a big thing back in the day? Blood, it was massive. Blood, it wasn't a big thing. Blood, it's massive, blood. <laughs> I don't know tune. I don't know tune. Remember, you know, I went to school in Hansworth, or Saint John oh, Ward. Hold on, what tune did you do? Name the tune. Oh, <laughs> street, oh, fucking no. Who's the artist? And um, money from Hansworth. Yeah, but it's like I done that tune just because I got my own mind. Like to me, I do what I do in it, but mm. at the same time, man, cat, man, I do my own thing. Like. No, I ain't peer pressured on nothing. You get what I'm saying? So I don't look and say, if I do this, man, I'm going to look and... Man probably will say something. But I was trying to break that stigma from then because back then, the way me and Dizzle and man was running, it wasn't no postcode thing, really. It was like certain man and certain man, but it just kind of got blew out of proportion. Mm. But it just went to postcodes and then obviously it went from boom, boom, boom. And it just grabbed... You know what I'm saying? But back then... Man was on a love thing. Like, I went to school in Hansworth, like, mm. school in the deep hands by the fucking cemetery, St. John Ward. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I know man from Hansworth, blood. Like, when there's enough man that don't know man, I know man from Hansworth. So I done that tune to break it because back then was the worst time with the postcode thing. The worst time ever. You know what I'm saying? And I was trying to break that to just show man that, yo, you can do it. So when it, when I look at it now, I don't understand why man can't do it because mm. everyone talks to each other. I know mm. everyone's in each other's DMs. Has to be. You mm. know what I'm saying? So mm. they've got to make it happen. Like, I don't feel like there's no stigma. People just need to make it happen. That's Basically. it. Because there's enough rappers out there and there's probably one or two that don't speak to each other. But apart from that, I've just named about eight rappers. Mm. And there's still another 10. Mm. So, them man just need to come together. And 2020, blood, is, is, you know what I'm saying? Can I see it as a, a new venture for man to just see if it will work? Because if man don't do it, come man ain't getting no features from no um, London artists like that. Mm. You get me? It's true. Because I don't, I don't hear it. Stardom's the only one that I can see that are just doing tunes with man out of town. I don't even do tunes in from anyway, but moving forward, what you got coming in the future? What's going on for well, you? I got EP, I got EP, I got EP coming next year, you know. It's, you know, it's done, but I just got someone to sing on something. So it's going to be done, but right now, like, I've got enough music, you know, because there was a time where I was on it. But listen, <laughs> but listen, 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 listen. <laughs> right now, I got an EP coming next year, but I'm on this management thing. You True. know what I'm on? True. Yeah, man, so I'm just trying want. to evolve, bro. I'm just evolving, bro. You got like, any, you got yeah, I got, I, got some art, I got some artists. I got some artists, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to... You're just going to see me promoting them. True, true, true. You get me? I got some artists, but that, that is my... That's my new venture. I need to get my EP out because it's... Yeah. But my new venture is... You get me? Mm, 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 mm. Spark up that, my killer, because... Hey, what? You know what's going on. Respect for coming there, hey. <laughs> Respect for but you got me high blood you got me fucking I up look, you're just leaving me hanging here look, look. <laughs> I'm saying to you yeah. Respect for coming down to chop it up yeah Grinch the OG give us some foundation talk you know some foundation talk yeah, man, vibes, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, drink yeah, a juice man. one two don't talk nothing too loose any. it's a chop shop podcast that was <laughs> Fly in, then they fly out, gone. Chop, chop, chop it up, you know what we are.